What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about Switchback Energy and holy smokes does this thing only know one direction? I believe it's up. We're going to be talking about this stock, we're going to be talking about the sector and we're going to be talking about it very in depth. So if you're interested in this company, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we take a charge in this video, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into this video. It's been a while since I've done a video on Switchback Energy or ChargePoint, and so I'm going to kind of refresh and go over exactly what ChargePoint is, because that's what it's going to be merging to here before long. So swing it on over here. ChargePoint is creating the new fueling networks to move all people and goods on electricity. Since 2007, ChargePoint has been committed to making it easy for businesses and drivers to go electric. With one of the largest EV charging networks and most complete set of charging solutions available today, ChargePoint's cloud subscription platform and software defined charging hardware is designed internally and includes options for every charging scenario from home and multifamily to workplace, parking, hospitality, retail, and fleets of all kinds. Today, one ChargePoint account provides access to hundreds of thousands of places to charge throughout North America and Europe, with drivers plugging into the ChargePoint network approximately every two seconds while delivering more than 84 million charges. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We are all aware that the electrical vehicle sector has bursted onto scene. I mean, that thing is on fire. And there are a ton of different electrical vehicles within niches. You have the likes of a workhorse. You have the likes of Tesla. You have Fisker. You have Hylion. You have all these different companies. I mean, the list goes on and on. Neo. I could just keep going. But the thing is, is when you step back and you look at the big picture of where we are with gas vehicles... There are gas stations everywhere across the United States, across the world. I mean, they're, they're very important, obviously. And the thing is, is that if we're going to push and move in the direction of fully electric, then we're going to need gas stations in that aspect. And so that would be charging stations. And so with companies like Switchback Energy, which we'll be talking about, we'll be merging to uh, ChargePoint. Obviously, you have some companies that are up and coming that are going to really be expanding across the United States and into the, you know, obviously across the world when it comes to charging stations. And I think that's ex extremely, extremely important. So I wanted to take a look at this one because as of late, it has been on fire as well. This thing has been trending in the upward direction and it hasn't stopped. That's what's absolutely amazing. So we're going to break this stock down even more. You know, I've done this, I broke this, you know, company down before, but it was well early on into Switchback Energy. And so now that they're getting close to doing the merger, I really want to talk about it. So swinging on over here, this company, which is merging, will be ChargePoint, has sound operational principles and goals. Switchback Energy will undergo a reverse merger with ChargePoint in order to provide a ladder company with funding for building EV charging infrastructure. Fundamentally, ChargePoint business should be strong as the US is clearly adopting EVs quickly. The continued growth of EVs will resort in strong demand for the company's chargers. Given ChargePoint's strong outlook and the data regarding the performance of SPACs before they merge, it seems likely the SBE stock has a very good chance to rise in the coming weeks. And I think you're starting to see that happen. And I think, you know, in all honesty, when it when you're talking charging stations, they are going to be very, very important. And I think that you, when you, you start talking about charging stations as well, you want to make sure that these charging stations have good software. They provide a good service. The charges are good. You don't have too many issues. And, you know, obviously, it sounds like ChargePoint is doing that. And it's amazing to see. Now, I do want to talk about Switchback Energy's rise, and I do think it's been rising since September, and there has been a lot of factors that play into this. Obviously, you know, we have a new generation of investor. We have a new generation of, I guess you could say, stock trader, 
And so when SPACs like this come along, they seem very intriguing and they get a lot of attention. The second thing to think about is we have been enduring one of the worst, if not the worst pandemics in the history of the world. And so as a lot of you know things start to happen in the positive direction, whether it's vaccines or medicines that help kind of fight off the coronavirus, I think those things create positive catalysts for the stock market across the board. And so I do think that those types of things will be positive catalysts for the likes of a switchback energy. It just allows companies like this to continue to grow, especially with them being so small. So what I'm going to do is swing over here, talk about their rise, and then continue into the chart. Swing it on over here. Switchback energy shares have been on a general upswing since September, beginning in the lower teens. The climb accelerated a bit earlier this month, going from around $14 a share to the stock's 52-week high of $20.99. I do believe it's up a little bit more than that. There are several contributing factors. First, the markets are in better moods thanks to the positive reports on the novel coronavirus front. Two pharmaceutical companies said that their vaccine candidates were 90% and 94.5% effective against COVID-19. These announcements were welcomed by the market even though they were preliminary reports and on clinical trials and came via press statements as opposed to definitive scientific review. Another factor is Switchback Energy is just weeks away from a $2.4 billion reverse merger with ChargePoint, a leading provider of electrical vehicle charging infrastructure in the United States and in Europe. And I think that's very, very key because obviously the United States is going to be very heavy in the electrical vehicle market in the sector by 2040. A lot of electrical vehicles will be sold by 2040. But I think with ChargePoint being obviously across the world, specifically in Europe, another very up and coming, you know, electrical vehicle sector area, I think that's very important for ChargePoint. This merger, which will take place or which will make ChargePoint a public company, is expected to take place in about a month or so. So I do think that's coming up very, very quickly. And I think, you know, obviously it's going to be very important for this company once they make that merger they can start to get out there and do what they need to do and i think that's important for any company Some more information that i think would obviously drive this stock in the upward direction is that they've partnered chargepoint has partnered with carplay apple's carplay and i think that that is very very important and they're taking some extreme measures to making a success out of the charging station aspect. I think it's unbelievable what they're doing. So I'm gonna swing over here and provide you with some information on that. So ChargePoint, one of the world's largest electrical vehicle charging networks, now works with Apple CarPlay, taking another step forward, making the transition to electric mobility more seamless for drivers. This new integration brings essential EV charging data inside the vehicle, allowing drivers to easily access charging information directly from their vehicle's infotainment system. Beginning today, drivers will be able to find nearby chargers, check station status, start a session, navigate to the station, and more without the need to pick up their iPhone while in transit. The announcement comes on the heels of the addition of several new features available to Apple users, probably because of Apple iOS 14, and you know, obviously with the new iPhones coming out, they're ramping things up. So continuing on, on the heels of the addition of several new features available to Apple users, including dark mode, Apple Watch compatibility, and the new charge point widget in today view for iPhone where drivers can find nearby charging stations or check real-time charging statuses. I think that's unbelievable. And, and that's only taking a step in the right direction. As you continue to put more charging stations out there, you're also you know, putting in the work behind the scenes with companies like Apple you know, probably, you know, Android and Google and things like that down the road. These are just major steps in the right direction. Come to my favorite part of any video, and that is chart breaking down time. And do I have a special chart for you? And holy smokes, this is unbelievable. Switchback Energy SBE swinging on over here. So today it opened at $29.83. It got as high as $35.88 and its low as $29.53. Its volume was 21.02 million. Its market cap is currently 1.338 billion. 52 week high is 35.88. 52 week low is $9.38. Average volume is 2.911 million. So today it closed at $34.08. That was a massive 30.28% run and it wasn't finished. And it's still continuing to trade. 
uh, just when I took this picture, it happened to be at $37.11, up an additional 8.89% in the after hours. So you're looking at basically a 40%, almost 40% day. That's unbelievable. So what I did is I pulled a three month chart and make sure you get your mountain climbing gear ready because <laughs> this November chart, it looks, uh, it looks a little steep. So like they stated early on, you know, September is where this thing started to kind of click and they started to go in the upper direction. Uh, one thing you, I want you guys to see is right there and basically in September, it started to have a, a, a decent increase. It got to about 16, 17, uh, you know, $18. And then we kind of had some ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, basically all the way until November. And then when November hit, that's when you need to get your mountain climbing gear. This thing is a straight incline to the 52 week high. Clearly we've blown past the 52 week high in the after hours. I mean, this thing is doing some amazing, amazing things. Whether they were being held back by the coronavirus, or maybe they were just being held back because, you know, whatever it may be, maybe this is just merger talk. Maybe they're getting out there and a lot of people are getting interested because of the merger situation. You know, I think that this is going to be a very important stock no matter what the situation or circumstances are because with the major push of the electrical vehicle market in the United States across the world, like I stated in the beginning of this video, there are going to have to be locations to charge your vehicles. There are going to have to be said versions of gas stations to charge these vehicles. It's just going to have to happen. A lot of people will still have the capabilities of doing it at home, but this is going to be an important stock because this company is going to be doing exactly what I said, putting these charging stations out so people can use them in all kinds of different locations and it's going to be beneficial. So I think this is a very important stock to not only keep your eye on, but if you are invested, it's amazing that you got in when you did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something today on Switchback Energy, soon to be merging to ChargePoint. I look forward to it. I think it's going to be amazing. I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.